Hello and welcome to the Excellent English Club. Today's topic is place of articulation. In the previous video, I discussed manner of articulation, and in this video, I am going to discuss place of articulation. So let's start. Look at this question. What do we mean by place of articulation? The place of articulation of a consonant is represented by the location at which two speech organs come together to produce a speech sound, as in the contact of the two lips to form bilabial sound like pa, ba, ma. This is place of articulation. Look at this question. <clears throat> How many place of articulation are there? There are eight place of articulation. For example, bilabial, labiodental, dental, alveolar, palatal alveolar, palatal, velar, and glottal. One by one, we will discuss all of them. Let's start. Number one, production of bilabial sound. In the production of bilabial sound, the two lips are close together to stop airflow and sudden release to produce bilabial sounds. For example, pa, ba, ma. Two lips close together to stop the airflow and sudden release bilabial. Look at the example here. Pa is in people, ba is in black, and ma is in man. Look at the picture. In this picture, you will see that two lips are close together to stop the airflow. And sudden release, what are the articulators here? Two lips, upper and lower lips. Next one is production of labiodental sound. In the production of labiodental sound, the lower lip touches the upper front teeth to produce sound. For example, fa, va. In the example, you will see that fa is in father and va is in van. Look at the picture. In the picture, you will see that in blue color, they are teeth. Lower lip touches the upper teeth to produce labiodental sound. Labiodental. Why we say labiodental? Because we produce this sound with the help of lips and teeth. Labiodental. So these are the two articulators. The lower lip used as an active articulator and upper teeth is used as the passive articulator. Number three, production of dental sound. In dental sound, we do not use our lips. Look here. In the production of dental sound, the tip of the tongue approaches the upper front teeth. Tha, tha. For example, tha is in thin, path. Tha is in that, father. Look at the picture, you will easily understand. In this picture, you will see that in the red color, that is tongue, touches up, that is yellow color, that is teeth, upper front teeth, sa, za. The articulators involved here are tip or the blade may be used as the active articulator and the front upper teeth are the passive articulator. Number four, production of alveolar sound. In the production of alveolar sound, the alveolar sounds are produced by rising the tip or the blade of the tongue to the alveolar ridge to block the airflow. How? Our tongue touches the alveolar ridge just after the teeth. That is alveolar ridge. How do we produce? Ta, da, na, sa, ra, la, ra. Look at the example. Na is a knot, ta is in teach, da is in deep, sa is in sweet, za is in zebra, and la is in like. Look at the picture. In the picture, the tongue is approaches the alveolar ridge, not the teeth, not the upper lip, no. Only the alveolar ridge. Look here, alveolar ridge. So what articulators involved here? The active articulator may be tip or the blade of the tongue and alveolar ridge as the passive articulator. Move to the next one. Post or the palato alveolar sounds. Here I have written post oblique palato because some people consider it post alveolar sound. Some people say palato alveolar sound. That's why I have written both of them. What are these sounds? Look here. In the production of post-alveolar sound, the blade of the tongue approaches 
to the heart palate just behind the alveolar ridge to produce sounds like cha ja sha ja for example sha as in shut ja as in measure cha as in chicken and ja as in judge look at the picture in this picture you will see that the tongue is touches the heart palate not the alveolar ridge heart palate just after the alveolar ridge any post alveolar means after the alveolar ridge so what are the articulators involved here the blade of the tongue may be used as an active articulator and the heart palate just behind the alveolar ridge as the passive one move to number next production of palatal sounds the palatal sound is produced by rising the front of the center of the tongue to the heart palate which constrict the air flow and then released there is only one palatal sound in english what is this ya ya when you produce the sound our central part of the tongue touches the roof of our mouth heart palate ya as in yes ya as in yellow look at the example now see the picture and you will easily understand where is the tongue and where is the heart palate here look here in this picture in this picture you will see that the center or the you can say the front of the tongue approaches the heart palate the roof of the mouth and constrict stop the air flow and sudden release yeah yeah the front of the tongue is used as the active articulator and the heart palate just before the velum as the passive articulator now move to the next one production of velar sound in the production of velar sound the back of the tongue touches the soft palate or velum such as ka ka anga for example ka is in king ga as in garden and anga as in uncle the back of the tongue touches the velum or the soft palate look here at the picture in the picture you will see that these sounds are produced with the help of back of the tongue and the soft palate okay so what are these two back of the tongue is used as an active articulator and soft palate as the passive articulator now move to the last one production of glottal sound glottal sounds are produced by exhaling air flow and not blocking it anywhere in the vocal tract such as in the production of ha sound or sounds like u or o and the second thing is glottal stop this sound the air is stopped completely at the glottis for example if i say what time is it the ta sound in what is dropped and the vowel sound before it is closed at that glottis for example u ah, like this complete glottal stop look at the picture here in this picture you will see that there is a glottis and the red color these are two vocal cords they are wide apart while producing ha sound ha hotel history home house so it is wide apart to allow the air coming from the lungs passes through the vocal cords without any obstruction okay but at the time of glottal stop it is blocked and suddenly open oh ah. sometimes we feel you know irritation in our throat we say like this that is glottal stop the glottis and the two vocal cords are the articulators now i'll show you the complete chart with all the place of articulation and sounds look here look at this picture in this picture you will see all the place of articulation with sounds for example number 1 bilabial pa ba ma wa labiodental fa va dental tha da alveolar ta da sa za na la next post alveolar ra sha ja palatal ya next velar ka ga anga and finally 
glottal ha and glottal stop this is all about the place of articulation in the next video i will discuss the production of vowel sounds okay thank you for watching bye for now see you in the next video